Okay, we just got so much of a wave that it actually cleaned the window. <laughs> you can now see out of it and film out of it. <laughs> that poor Chevy thing down there, though. Not sure if uh, Abacan would survive being outside at the moment, though. Yeah. It looks on from inside the window. Ooh. You feel the wind on the window. Girls screaming. <laughs> Let's see any. I'm down there. Okay, I just got wet. I've just got drips on. <laughs> Coming through the windows or something. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm actually now getting wet. Here, inside. <laughs> I wonder if you're getting wet. Can you get me an umbrella? <laughs> get me a hat or something. Can you see what's coming? No, no. Whoa. Feel that through the floor. Oh my god. Look at the cars down there. Washed in salt water. Oh, I felt that. So it's actually cleaning the windows, isn't it? I am still getting wet. I think it's getting blown through like that crack between the windows, isn't it? No, it's not. It's mm -hmm. big windows leaking. It's leaking. <laughs> Lovely. <I'm gonna> <laughs> What's he doing? Get out of there! Bash into that Chevy truck. It's worth more than your clear. See the Chevrolet. Yeah, the bay windows leaking up. <laughs> oh wow, look, you can actually see some sky up there. It's actually quite light. It's uh, half past five in the afternoon. We have uh, someone stood over there. Watch him for a bit, maybe he'll get wet. Yep. <laughs> got a message off one of my friends saying look at Abacam. It looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, well, there, there is Abacam. That is exactly what he's seeing right now. That window. A bit rainy. Abacam of course is now inside. Here are some students who didn't realise that it was wavy. Just to test it for themselves. Oh, the foam flying as well. Oh. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is a new way to take a shower. So it's a free way. Students to take a shower. Here in Aberystwyth. There you go. Get the shampoo out. Be alright. From Poundland. Oh, that looks big. <laughs> yeah, bye bye, students. Yep, they uh, they found out it is quite wet out there. That the the flood warning was just. They are getting wet, as I am. I, I am also getting wet in inside this lovely bay window here, which appears to be leaking. <laughs> it keeps dripping on me. Give me a hat. Oh, there goes some of the emergency 4x4s. 
blasting along there. Really? Can't get anywhere along there, it's a dead end. Part of the uh, 4x4 response group. I don't know what he's doing, making sure it's all alright. Look at him go! Wah. We stop there. He's letting someone out. This is a uh, type of 4x4 taxi service. Uh, there's two out there, still extreme uh, extreme weather conditions here at Briswith Seafront. Those two making sure that the waves are definitely coming over the seawall. Yes, yes they are. Quite sure of that now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, full by full. Glass has actually got very, very cold to the touch now. To see what temperature it is outside, a little thermometer. About Fifteen degrees over here, but it's about ten now. Was that was that a wave? Yeah, yeah it was. Oh. No, my slip is falling apart. The bottom's coming away from it. Dunlops as well, isn't it? Dunlops. The rubber's going on me. There's 11 and falling rapidly. Oh. <laughs> They've got wet. <laughs> They've got wet. Yep. Go, go and check my uh, little temperature sensor. It's under my uh, second monitor. Uh, one's inside, one's outside temperature. Okay. Pretty wet out there. Twelve point three degrees out there. Fifteen really. Twelve point three degrees. That's on a kind of a one pound fifty thermometer off eBay. What are those two still doing out there? Oh, they're, they're clean enough now. Add enough salt water, they're going over. Next door. She's uh, painted her car yellow so she can find it again. Can someone come to our house? Not want to be a delivery driver in this weather, would you? Take refuge. Ooh. Settle down a little bit now. Do you reckon? Adam reckons this is going to be a big one. Oh, and it is! It's quite big. <laughs> Washing that car nicely down there with salt water. It's always good for it. Yeah. Yep. 
So uh, there is still quite a few cars parked down there. Quite a lot down there actually. And, uh, some that way as well. Honestly, would not be parking there now if it was me. No, oh, look at all the water come uh, come past the little kind of floodgate thing in the seawall. My battery's getting low. So yeah, uh, commentary brought to you today by uh, Matt Robbins and Adam Tate, commentating on the on the local weather conditions. Uh, stormy, I think I'd, uh, I'd class it as. What's it? Have you got? The, got yeah, rain inside the window. Can't really see it. Though. Rain inside the window. But luckily, Abercam is in a Tupperware box uh, provided by Poundland. Other Tupperware boxes are available. Not as cheap. Got uh, yeah, got some water coming in there, have we? Lovely. It's a... Why is it coming in? <laughs> yeah, probably up there somewhere. But, uh, these extreme weather conditions are providing, proving too much for these bay windows. So you would not want an old car on the seafront right now. Oh. Oh, there's one. I can't actually tell if it's raining or just it's all the mist coming down. I can hear the water dripping down somewhere, I'm not sure if it's inside or outside. <laughs> and just come out of his house. Oh, it's a bit wet. Glad I bought this coat. Taxi? More people than seafront, don't they? Being extreme, extreme sports. Seawall standing. In the weather. Quite a lot of foam flying. Looks relatively Christmassy, actually. Foam flakes. Oh. oh, there's the chap getting back into his uh, old American truck. I need to find it's filled with water. Whoa! Might have to go and jump start the uh, the old truck down there. Doesn't manage to get it started yet. A couple of people for a romantic walk along the seafront. Oh, okay. Oh, water. Oh, my shoes. Yep. 
This is not a hot date. It's very cold out there. Would you say something like 12 degrees? 12.3. Both getting rather wet. Why couldn't we have done something indoors? They seem to say as they get hit by a cloud of seawater. Need, a, need another big wave to come clean our windows. It's not all that bad at the moment. Even worse. You can actually feel that through uh, through the floor. It hits the sea wall down there. No, the American truck still seems to be sat there. I assume it's American. Look, looked American. Could be Ford for all I know. I don't think it is. Oh, there's the chap. I think he's just got out of it. <laughs> he's just left it. So, <laughs> either he was just getting something from his truck or it won't start. And with that kind of stuff pounding it, blame it. Ooh, there you go. Oh. Yeah. So the window's pretty clean now, isn't it? Perfect. Six. Where are we at now? The uh, quarter quarter to six. I'm going to go out. I'm going this way. Don't want to get the car drenched in. Uh, salt. Yep, salt water. Oh, PD's Diner. That's uh, the van from. Whoa. Place on the seafront. Oh, I wonder if they're moving stuff away. They got flooded like last year, didn't they? PD's Diner. Well, there's the there's PD's Diner's van. Don't know where he's taking all their supplies to. Take it, take it up the hill, yeah, take it up Constitution Hill. I'm not going to get wet up there. Well, it won't get flooded, but it might get blown off the top. I'm not sure what winds we're getting out there, but when we opened the window, uh, the winds were strong. Classify the winds as strong today. Very the, strong winds. Very strong winds. Flagpoles up uh, at South Beach were wiggling, they were bending in the wind. Did not want to park under one of those. Looked like they were going to snap. But students, oh, that way, that's quite rainy, rainy that window there. Needs a cleaning event. Hmm. Looking through this one. A lot of people come to park on the seafront and just have a look at the water. Get wet. Did we, we had a weather warning issue, didn't we? Or something. I'm not sure how official it was, but like a flood warning, wasn't it? Yeah. There's PD's diner. Where are we going to put our sandwiches? I don't know. We're not going to sell much ice cream tomorrow. No, ice cream sales. Possibly not forecast uh, for Sunday. Fish and chips is a possibility. There's people walking along oh there. Look, the rocks are starting to come up down there. Are they? Oh, he's got adopted the brace position there. Brace. As, brace. Uh, as we all know, it's the best position to adopt when water's coming at you. Uh, or when a plane's crashing. When you say, can you see some rocks over there, can you? Yeah, they're Ooh. coming up. Well, on the, on the paper. Yeah. Remember, to duck and cover. Duck and cover. Oh, I mean, that's what she was doing. She was protecting herself from flying rocks. To... Remember what Bert the Turtle says. Duck and cover. Indeed. Would not like to be a person or a car on that seafront right now, or a flagpole. Would not like to be a flagpole. Anything. A rock. Wouldn't like to be a rock on the seafront right now. Being thrown against someone's car. Smashing glass. Criminal record. <laughs> yep. Certainly get a good soaking out there. <coughs> 
20 minutes in now and uh, the storm is continuing. There's uh, large waves coating the people who are uh, trying to have a nice pleasant walk along the promenade. I've done that. Nice walk. Bit of uh, bit of fresh air. Instead they've got sea in their face. Rocks in their ears. Big one. I think uh, tomorrow we should have a guest speaker on the show. How best to clean salt off your car. What it can do to the metal. If you are missing some paint. I don't know, either making some stamps or taking photos. What are you doing? Taking photos. Taking photos. You surprised me. The horses are stumped. They don't know what to do. Yep. I'd say this is a most thrilling thing, reporting the weather, but it uh, feels necessary. Times of crisis such as this. Can we, uh, can we sue the Met Office? We didn't have a severe wave warning. Oh dear, my battery is getting low. 4% remaining. Have to wrap up this show. And, uh, leave you with the view of uh, waves hitting Aberystwyth with Seafront. It's been a pleasure. It has. It's been a pleasure commentating. It's my first time commentating. Not uh, my co star, Adam, over there. Right. Collecting data and uh, taking photos. The show. All right. See you later.